floor. I, I used to live in a 2400 square feet and four sisters and mom and dad, they used to share one floor and one floor was exclusively only for me. So I used to have a table tennis table. Um, you, you can imagine all the luxuries in life. And 2007, somewhere I was standing in the middle of the road, lost everything on the streets. My three children, at that point of time, two children, they are here today. My dad, my mom, my wife, and we don't have a home. I'm a chartered accountant, practicing, but no office. And that day I saw a man cry. Not me. I saw my dad cry. What did I see? I don't see a dad cry. I saw a businessman cry. A businessman who paid all his taxes, who was always doing so much for the society. I come from a Jain, Jain community. And so much he has done for the society all the time. And nobody is standing there next to him to help him when he needed the most. And that, was, that is the day when I decided, I'm not going to let this incident just pass by. I'm here, I'm seeing a businessman cry. Yes, we are in a situation and we, we as businessmen, we have got into something called an adventure sport. You know what is an adventure sport? Business. It is a, it is a, it's an amazing business and it's an adventure sport because one decision, you're up and the next decision, you're down. And these are the very important things in life. And that day I decided, let us do something about businessmen in India. We pay taxes and what do we get in return? Notices. I'm a chartered accountant, so I empathize. And many a times people who pay taxes are the ones who are put under trouble. And what about all those people who don't pay taxes? All those people who escape and get out of the whole net because they don't even have a PAN number or an Aadhaar card. But you and me have an Aadhaar card and now we have to stand in the queue and go to every bank and every ATL office or Vodafone office and get to do this. So that was my why. I said I'm not going to allow, let this incident pass off. And somewhere I decided in 2007, and still under losses. By 2014, I paid off everything that was supposed to be paid off with interest and everything. And 2012, as Providence would have it, I stumbled upon BNI. And this is what I was looking for, an opportunity to bring business owners together. Can we not become those standard Indian crafts pulling down each other? Can we come together? Because the whole story was my dad was doing business and he was telling all his business secrets to all his brothers, cousins and everybody. And everybody was using those business secrets to fight or to compete against my own dad. And he, he's, a, he's still the same person, he has not changed. Even now he says, my brothers are very good. I leave him alone, I don't want to comment on that. But this is what is reality of life. We need to understand we are in business. But rather than fighting with each other, there's so much of abundance available for all of us. What are we doing with that? That is my why. I, I network because I can't see a person down. There was this person who joined one of the chapters. He's into stationary supplies. What supplies? Stationary. And this person joined BNI because he didn't want to move to Bangalore. And the company decided that he has to move to Bangalore. And he has to give up Chennai. And he did not want to. And he was only a person who was uh, doing the job of buying stationary for the office. So he somehow gave up the job and came. And he came as a visitor to BNI. And I do not know how, his, how the chapter took him, but as again Providence would have it, he was there in the chapter. And for the first full year, he did a turnover of 7 lakh rupees from BNI. The second year, I was there in the presentation, he said, today I'm not going to speak about products, what I do. Today I just want to say thank you to BNI, because this year I've done a turnover of 75 lakhs just from BNI. And recently I met him, he's telling, sir, my monthly turnover from BNI has gone to 25 lakhs because of networking. And that is what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing him. Every time I see a businessman go up in life, I'm able to go back to 2007. And there, one man decided, I'm not going to allow something like this happen to anyone. And that is my why. I network. In fact, I connected him to so many people because I'm a chartered accountant. I know the presidents of the institutes, the secretaries of the institutes. So I kept connecting him wherever he wanted. And the joy, he used to come in a cycle. And today he's planning to buy a car. How many of you are Multi-millionaires or millionaires. I'm just asking all of you. How many of you are millionaires? Lakpatis? Kurorpatis? <laughs> Switch it off for some time. Let's be honest. But let me tell you, which is more joyous? To become a millionaire or to see or help someone to become a millionaire? Right. First you have to become. Mahavira said live and then let live. First you become and then only you can... 
only if you have you can experience the joy that you have you can pass it on to them and this is what when i see women entrepreneurs come up in life i feel one of my sister is going forward and achieving something in life and this is what is important for all of us the social responsibilities we have to pass on this world to the next generation little better one small question what do we breathe in oxygen or carbon dioxide carbon dioxide we breathe no no that is for those who smoke <laughs> they give us we breathe o2 and what do we give out co2, CO2. even in breathing in and breathing out we add value as human beings if we can shift that here everything will shift so my why to network is when i shake hands with someone i only ask my myself one question this particular relationship can it help someone can it take this person to the next level in this 2 minutes of interaction can i add value if you can start thinking that way then networking is a contact sport we love it i love doing you can ask me tons of question and i can keep answering on networking but i need to know your why so what is your why to networking maybe money money is an amazing amazing thing nothing wrong with money in fact we all deserve abundance if you're good you must be more rich if you're more good you need more money because then you can build schools colleges hospitals we will be able to change whatever we want to change otherwise we can keep crying this government is not doing that that government is not doing that why because we don't have money the most easiest thing to do is you can be poor and keep crying and shouting at everybody that means you become a victim in life i don't want to be a victim in life i want to win this life and that is the only way possible is money money is not bad how you use money it depends on that so i need to know your why then i can talk about networking more in depth in detail excuse me very good super uh, can i have the brave first person yes to be noticed in the community very good that's again a human need we all have to be noticed can i get a pen suddenly this pen also get that's a unique pen i get a unique pen first one is to be noticed right to be noticed next to expand the business right next one by one yeah superb to understand each other okay to give more employment superb sudan that's you okay to give more employment socialize to socialize but it can be anybody's needs we all have different needs you said ma'am something contact is to contact contact is a wealth okay fine so do you think if i if i address these points and how to do this all of this do you think it is good to be noticed to expand business to understand each other to give more employment to socialize and to create more wealth or the contacts is a wealth or any other point somebody wants no my point also you need to address please tell me anybody else yeah okay understanding new market okay understanding new market opportunities perfect yeah okay entering new businesses okay wow who said that learn from others experience okay i i think for today we'll stop it next time if you have more time you can call me okay i'll go in the reverse way learn from others experience right uh, you must have heard this character very often akbar and birbal anybody yeah. okay good so akbar once asked birbal how is that you're so wise and he said uh, uh, birbal uh, it's very simple in the world people always have uh, three tendencies there are and three different kinds of people the first set of people are people who make mistakes and don't learn okay and what do we call them what do we call them losers. losers perfect the second one are the people who make mistakes and learn and what do we call them intelligent people and then there are third category of people who also learn from others mistake wise and these are the wise people right when you get into a network you are into a group of people every time you are talking and meeting people you make mistakes or others make mistake 
right? And it's an opportunity for you as you're networking to understand this person made a mistake in this particular business and this was a decision made and this is the result. Now you become wiser in networking because next time if you're going to take a business decision and the circumstances are around similar, what will you do? Don't do that or do it. Depends upon the results, the positive or the negative results. So networking is to learn from each other's experience, right? Next, entering new businesses. Amazing. The people who have tons of money, right? We are always looking for entering into new business or people who don't have any money or maybe madam, you wanted to start into new business. How to enter? Where to enter? We don't even know how, which one to enter because everything from outside looks great. Am I right? There are a lot of builders sitting here 10 years back. Everybody wanted to get become a builder. But today, nobody even wants to enter into that side. So it's very, very difficult. We can get mentors here. We can have people here who can help you, guide you, support you and be with you. That's the joy. The joy of networking is not that I alone grow. It is, again, like I cannot speak Tamil like that because I born, brought up in Saukarpet. So you know the Saukarpet Tamil will come out. So I don't want to speak Tamil. And then uh, suddenly you say, whom did we call? <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple. The joy that I experience, I want all my fellow beings, fellow human beings to experience. I have grown in life. Now tell me, in, I am 20 years of practice. The moment I see another chatter, I feel so happy, so joyous. Wow, one more, one more of my brother into practice. And that's, that's a joy. In fact, two years back, uh, one of my juniors, he started practice. Then I called him and said, hey, how about... Uh, taking some cases. He said, what? Yeah, I'm any of going to send out 200 cases out. Why don't you handle them? And I immediately gave him. Now, did, did I lose anything? No, nothing. Because any of I was supposed to give those cases out. So let him get that. He was happy. And he is my own person who has been trained by me. Now, this is what is entering into new business can be. You already have so much of business and you do not know where this business is supposed to go. Call in some more person and say, hey, you are an amazing person. I know you. Come on, let's enter into partnership. You can start doing these jobs and this particular jobs, I will do it. Can we all do that? We all can do that. The abundance mindset is important. If I start putting my hand into everybody's pocket, then others will also start putting their hands into my pocket. But if I'm not going to put my hand into anybody's pocket, nobody's going to put their hand into my pocket. That's what is important. So entering new business is amazing. I would suggest I was going through your website pages. The mentors page was missing. If you can have dedicated mentors there, you will see so much more things happening, right? Understanding new market opportunities. It is like this, when you're networking, not everybody knows everything. But you're networking, you can ask questions to everybody and not everybody will be able to answer. But there are few people, intelligent people, who will be able to answer it. And this is what in networking you're going to gain. And networking, don't just network among your community, go outside. The world is a, such a big place. Go and meet tons of people. Recently, I was just sharing with a small group of people. Jito called me and they said, the Jain International Trade Organization. And someone said to me, why are you not part of Jito? I said, the motto is wrong, the vision is wrong. He said, what is wrong in that? We are all Jains, so we, we want to do business within ourselves. I said, that's a mistake. Jain International Trade Organization, if I buy from you and you buy from me, so where are we going to go in the forward? If every community starts doing that, then we are making more islands. Yes, the community should come together to help each other, but not that only doing business among each other. I buy from you and you buy from me. That is not going to help. In fact, JITO should become Jain International Training Organization. Train people on how to do business, how to take the business to next level. How many of us are struggling here to take our business to next level? That at least you can answer, right? I didn't ask money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chartered accountant because every time the clients were coming in who are doing really good are asking this question, how can I take my business to next level? And one among you sitting in here can actually partner with him and take his business to next level. But then the mindset to expand, to grow, to become big. So networking is all about expanding your net for it to work. And this is again very important, right? So understanding new market opportunities are possible. One, two, if you get out of the community thing. I'm not telling don't have this NCC. I'm just telling that you need to be part of many more networks, right? And one of you goes outside, get some insight into some new market opportunities. You can come inside and start partnering. So then you have uh, started some partnership business from BNI. 
three of you you met can you share that story It's a market opportunity. This is what is important. Thank you so much. So just taking example because I know these stories and these are people among you. Please speak to them to understand about what is happening. And a lot of things are happening here. So we need to network and get to know more of stories that is happening around us, right? Contact is a wealth. In fact, one of my favorite lines is BNI helps contacts to become contracts. What is the use of all the contacts? How many of you have mobile phone? And what do we do with the contact list? In case of emergency, we use it. Otherwise, it's just lying there. We meet someone, we keep exchanging cards, and then what happens? Where are the cards going off? We don't even know where is it going. It is just lying somewhere in a, some corner. We don't even know how to convert these contacts into contracts. There's a new concept which is gaining importance, which is called social capital. Social capital. What is the social capital? We all have contacts, right? So what is the value of your social capital? Oh, I know this person, I know that person. Okay, fine. Um, one of my friends, he approached me and said, hey, um, my, my daughter, she is clear and she wants uh, admission in MOP Vashnav College. So I know the auditor of MOP Vashnav College. So I went and told him, my boss, uh, uh, one of my friend's daughter, she has passed here, she needs an admission. Oh, sorry, you're late. And next day, he's giving admission to some other person. You understand the, I have contact, but is it really worth the contract? Can I make use of that contact? I know him, he knows me, but can I use that contract to get a contract? That only time will tell when the need is there. Otherwise, it is just that, oh, I know so many people. Like, how many of you know Modi? <laughs> and the reverse is, we all know it. Does Modi know you? So what is most important? It has to be two-sided. It cannot be just one-sided. You have contacts. But whether these contacts will convert into contracts. We all have networks. But what are we doing to make this network strong? We are not doing anything. We come here, we meet, we talk. And let me ask a uh, very difficult question. I know you can get angry on me. How many of you came here actually networking? When I say networking, it is talking about business. Not talking about 1st of April, and not talking about uh, Fool's Day, and not talking about whatever is happening. I don't read newspapers, I don't know. The, the Steve Smith something is going on. My children were telling he's banned for one year. So I said, okay, fine. So. That's what is impo important, right? To contract is the important thing. We are all here in business. We want business. So how to convert this contract into a contract? There's a science. We can do it. There's a step-by-step -step process. And that is what we educate in BNI, in the trainings that, that members are attending here. To socialize, right? Yes, we should socialize. We should meet new people because life has to be lived in entirety. There has to be fun in the fundamentals. There has to be fun in the fundamentals, but never have fun with fundamentals. We are all in business, right? We all love cash flows. Am I right? But what happens if you don't look at the cash and the cash flow for two years? We don't keep a check on it. What happens? It just goes off. So it's very important that whatever you're doing, socialize, but we should know the limits of why we have come to this chamber. This chamber. It is called Nagratar Chamber of Commerce. The purpose of the chamber is for commerce. Yes, socialize, have get-togethers, but don't make it as a social avenue. You have many other forums for that. This forum is very, very clear, a business forum where we are coming to.